Thanks, Senator Scott. Senator Reed of Rhode Island is recognized. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Hella, if Congress does not act by September 30th, the National Flood Insurance Program uh, does not exist. Can you tell us what the consequences of that will be? I mean, there's some, please. Uh, thank you, Senator. Yeah, I mean, Americans right now um, are facing these unprecedented uh, catastrophes. We just saw uh, Pennsylvania, New York, uh, Vermont hit by uh, severe flooding, and uh, we need to have a flood insurance, and the private market has not been there to provide insurance for homeowners, and it's been stripped out of the homeowner's policies. And so we need a backstop so that there is flood insurance. I, I will say um, only 12% of Americans actually buy flood insurance. We are desperately uninsured or underinsured for this coverage. And I, I think it's important to note that uh, uh, Senator Scott is right, that the, the flood insurance program has created, um, has not been a success. We need it there because if we don't have it, then we've got nothing. But one of the reasons that a federal reinsurance would be so valuable, program would be so valuable, like we did with TRIA when we had this desperate exposure, mm -hmm. by bringing in a federal reinsurance, we could actually push the flood insurance product back into homeowners insurance, back into the state, back into the private markets, which is I think exactly what Senator Scott was calling for, because then the private insurers could be protected when they sell flood insurance, knowing that the worst case scenario was taken off, they were taken off the hook. But until we do that, until we push flood insurance out of the federal government and back into the homeowners policies that we all buy, we need to have a flood insurance program here in the federal government. Well, thank you. There, there's also an, another approach, which would be uh, mitigation. I know in, in my state, we're working with the Natural Resources Conservation Service which is uh, under the United States Department of Agriculture, and we're actually buying homes in areas uh, that are flood prone. Uh, we're storing flood plains so that there's a natural dissipation of flood waters, working with the Corps of Engineers. Uh, so my conclusion is we probably should do a lot more preemptive work with respect to resilience. And, and Senator Reed, you're exactly right. I mean, that is my, our, our first, second, and third thing that we should be doing is reducing the risk. And we've got the knowledge and data, and whether it's with floods, as you're talking about, or with, home, with, with wind storms and fires, we know how important better roofing is. We, I mean, this stuff can be done, but we have to make the commitment to it, rather than just shifting the, you know, decks on the chair, you know, the decks on the Titanic by saying, well, insurance companies aren't gonna take that risk, higher deductibles, less coverage, homeowners, renters, a part, you know, and uh, property owners, they take the risk instead. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's a, a discussion, obviously, of the withdrawal of many insurance companies. Uh, in Rhode Island, uh, our assembly passed a law that requires notification by an insurance company prior to their departure. And that gives the state the opportunity to work with the, uh, the company to see if there are ways that you can diversify or do other things that could compensate. Is that an approach that is worth emulating elsewhere? Yeah, I, I think that's exactly right. And what you're doing in Rhode Island makes a lot of sense. This is the thing that may, we hear from homeowners all the time. Why am I suddenly being told I can't be insured? They've always insured me. And the point is we need to have a transition process. Insurance companies can't take our money for decades and decades and then say, oh, now we realize there's climate change. We're out of here. So it's really important that you have a transition process like you're talking about. Thank you very much. And thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thanks, Senator Reid. Uh, 